The shares of Meta, the company that owns Facebook, plummeted 26.4% in a single day and lost more than $230 billion from its market cap. It was the biggest one-day drop ever in the stock market. And Mark Zuckerberg lost more than $24 billion. Many Facebook investors were terrified, but ironically, Shamath Palyapatiya had warned about this concern several months ago, back in November 2021. Here's the clip. The best trade on the internet, the most obvious simple money making trade is long Microsoft, Google, short big tech, short the rest of the big tech. You can very comfortably short Apple, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, and be long Microsoft, Google. So as a spread trade, right, right. It's the most, it's the best risk parity trade on the internet right now. I mean, period in the markets. You know, when you're betting on internet stocks, you don't necessarily have to be naked long or naked short, which comes with a lot more risk than if you were long one security and short another against it. So for example, over the last 10 years, you would have made a lot of money by being long Amazon and short a basket of traditional commerce companies, offline commerce. I'm going to make up a basket, but Macy's, JCPenney, you know, Kmart, Sears, right? So if you were short those and long Amazon, that's what's called a spread trade. You're, you're basically playing the gap between your longs and your shorts. Uh, I'm going to bet that if everything goes up, Amazon will go up more than yes. Kmart, Walmart, Sears. And if the stock market goes down, Amazon won't go down that much, but these ones will go down a lot. This idea wasn't mine. It's a borrowed trade from somebody who's a very well-known hedge fund manager who put it on in massive size. His initial trade was long Google, short Facebook. And that trade basically was at parity, which meant that the long and the short canceled each other out for about the last four years. Until the last year, it completely blew out and it returned about 80, 85% by being long Google, short Facebook. The bigger trade at scale is actually long Google and Microsoft and short the rest of big tech. The safest company on the internet today is Google because they're both a platform company. And to the extent that they're at risk at being an app company, the risk is to Apple, but because they pay Apple so much for search, they're inoculated. And so in many ways, Google is the safest. And it's also, as we've said before, the purest money making machine on the internet. You're referring, of course, to uh, Google paying Apple $10 billion to be Correct. the default search in their They phone. own Android, so one platform. And on the other platform, they, they pay them so much that they're going to be always protected. And the second best company is Microsoft. Curiously, Shamath was an early Facebook employee that was responsible for the very successful user growth that company achieved. In 2011, he left Zuckerberg and started many different ventures. Since then, he has criticized Facebook, usually in a fair and constructive manner. Here's what he said back in November 2017. The short-term dopamine-driven feedback loops that we have created are destroying how society works. No civil discourse, no cooperation, misinformation, mistruth. It's just a, it's a really bad. It's really, really bad. It sounds like you're taking deep personal responsibility also in, in being a part of it. I kind of look, I did a, I did what I, I did a great job there. And I think that business overwhelmingly does positive good in the world. Where I have decided to spend my time is to take the capital that they rewarded me with and now focus on the structural changes that I can control. Ironically, the reason why Facebook is struggling so much at this moment is that they actually missed their quarterly earnings estimates. But not all technology companies are the same. And Alphabet, the owner of Google, ironically, their shares are going up this week. So what we could be facing is an even tighter market consolidation. When we think about the fact that 
Facebook is pretty much the largest competitor against Google AdSense. We're getting to a point where Alphabet is really facing no real competitor that could actually be a threat in the long term. But in any case, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.